Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to declare a quorum. This is the City of Groton Water Push Control Authority meeting for April 2nd, 2018. Kirkpatrick, please call the roll. Present are Mayor Keith Hedrick, Deputy Mayor Lawrence Garish, Councilors Jamal Beckford, Stephen Sheffield, Guinevere Depot, Rashad Carter, Finance Director Ron Newhouse, Clerk Deborah Patrick, excused as Councilor Jill Rusk. Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of March 5th, 2018. So Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. And the next line item is to review the management report dated April 2nd, 2018. Kevin, would that be you? Would you like it? Okay, that's good. Okay. You can yep. sit or we can get the podium back, but I think that's comfortable. Okay. <laughs> um, so did anybody have any questions on the railings and stuff? You know what buildings these railings are going on? And <coughs> so the two tallest buildings, one facing the Costa property, and one facing the Thames River, the, the, the actual 1955 digester building, and then the 72 that was added on, which is the one that they're working on now. I can't tell you how many times it's been brought up about having safety railings up there, you know. Um, but it's finally come push to shove that, you know, now with construction people up there and they have temporary railings and stuff, it's really been a safety issue for quite some time um, that those railings get installed. Uh, on the Thickener building, guys are up there probably uh, once a week, sometimes twice a week. We do some motor control stuff up there that we actually disbanded recently due to the fact that we had to wear retrieval and everything else to be up on it. It just wasn't a safe thing. Um, on the digester building, the guys are up there a couple of times a day. So um, so these railings, like I say, uh, it's, been, it's been a long haul to get these railings. Um, and, you know, to be honest, it, it always came down to the cost. You know, I've, I've gotten prices several times on, on railings. This was an issue that was identified to me by Jim Ely. Jim is our safety consultant that uh, had identified this and then as a result of the uh, digester repairs it came to the forefront again and, and I said, what do we need to do? What's our, <clears throat> what's the corrective action? One of the things we're going with is there's a portable system that is an interlocking system that will allow us to uh, once that's installed, it'll be permanent, and it will meet the requirements, the OSHA, all the OSHA requirements for the fall protection up there, and that will provide them safety. Right now, what they're having to do is go up and provide lanyards. When you look at uh, safety hazards, there's three ways to abate a safety hazard. You can engineer it out, you can, administrative, you can administratively change it out, or you can use PPE. And by installing these safety railings, this is the highest level of security. This will uh, engineer out the hazard, and that's what we're going to do. And that's what I'm, that's, that will come to you guys as in the next, right. So this will come to you in the near future. It's going to be done as part of the digester repair. So. Do you have a question? Well, I did have a question, but I think the mayor oh, okay. covered it. Uh, and, and the question was, was there any safety inspectors on site when work is being done on high places and uh, the work is required to wear any kind of safety harnesses or anything? Yeah. Go ahead, Kevin, you answer that and I'll... Well, yeah, like I said, what, it, was, it was a pretty cumbersome type thing. What we had was once it was identified this last time with our new safety director, what we ended up doing was we would wear a harness with one of those retractable retrievals. Right. The problem with that is it was actually, it was always taunt and it was pulling you around, you know, as soon as you walked around like the penthouse part of the building, you know, it, it, the, the cables rubbing against the concrete and stuff like that. The, the railings were, were definitely the, you know, the corrective action to take. Right. But at the time, you know, we just didn't know if the funds were going to be available or how we were going to pay for it. So we, we, we did live with it like that for a while. I mean, I mean, I remember years ago, we used to actually take the tours up there so they could overlook 
you know, the water in the <laughs> aeration tank and stuff like that. But, you know, as times change and it was identified, how, you know, what a safety hazard it is, you wouldn't survive and fall off those buildings, you know. Um, and, and we are up there all the time, you know. Well, and, right. And we are, now that it's identified or it, it now it's brought to the right level, we are going to take the action to make, make this safe for all the employees. I, I just have a question. So what about um, like our insurance folks? Didn't they like take a look at this area or? Well, they, yeah, they looked at it, but the insurance was designed to, to the, the insurance is designed to cover the repairs for the digester. Okay. So this, since this was a pre-existing condition and, and was not caused as a result of the uh, the damage to the digester, then the insurance is not going to cover that. Right. Right. I was thinking more of like a preventative. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised it never came up. You know, we just had our insurance guy here. I'm surprised it uh, it never came up. Well, if I could just interrupt, uh, that was I was thinking along those lines. And I think it wasn't like people were going up there without any safety. Mm -hmm. That's you, you did say that yeah. they were wearing harnesses, so they were protected. It's just that the harnesses were cumbersome and, and not good workable equipment. So the, it makes sense to, to do a railing. Yeah, But that's exactly. where I was coming from. Okay. Uh, so it wasn't like they weren't protected at all. Right, gotcha. And right. then, you know, on the building over towards uh, the Costa property, we actually disbanded a part of the odor control system because we were up there on a daily basis and we just said, well, let's hold off on that until we right. figure out what we're going to do. Councilor Depot. Just to piggyback on that, because I was going to uh, uh, ask about that, I would imagine because they have the harnesses, that makes sense. Have we mentioned this to our insurance? Because sometimes when you update them, right. like we're spending this money, we might, it, it's always good to throw well, it in your insurance file to say, look at these improvements we're making well, because it does prevent absolutely. falls. Absolutely. Once, once the installation <laughs> is complete and we've installed a system, then we'll get pictures and we'll send it. Uh, we'll talk to Chris and then get it to the right place. I don't, I don't want to send it to anybody yet because we haven't oh, installed no. it. We, gotta, we have to mm -hmm. purchase it and then install it. <laughs> Anything else that you want to talk well, about? Well, I was just going to mention too, since we did bring up safety and stuff, that we, you know, we did have a, a surprise inspection the other day at the plant. Actually, I was very pleased, you know, the, the, the guys keep it so nice down there that uh, the woman was very impressed. It wasn't her first wastewater treatment plant. She said this place is absolutely immaculate. She did find a couple of things, no general housekeeping stuff, but a couple of things that we just weren't aware of. One was from a 19, 1955 building, and it wasn't the same as the 72. And uh, you know, I, I, I let the mayor and the director know that we corrected. One of the issues she had, we corrected right there before she left site, and the rest of the stuff's been corrected. It, it was about three things. I think for that size facility, we, we did really, really well, you know, so that just says a lot about the ongoing safety program that we do have here. And uh, to take a facility that size, have her walk through the entire facility and only find like three small things uh, that we were able to correct in, in actually, you know, a day's time, you know, with, with no purchases of anything was, was uh, pretty remarkable. I think it's, it just shows to what the, the whole process is here with the city. Thanks to you guys who run the place. Well, you know, they all do a great job. I, I was pretty proud of what uh, some of the comments she made about the place. So, But uh, speaking of that, too, so the weather is getting warmer, and uh, you all are members of the council. A lot of people have been down there multiple times. But uh, please feel free. Now is tour time before it gets really warm in the summer and everybody's busy. You know, call the mayor's office, talk to Heidi. She can hook you up with me. We can give tours anytime whatever's convenient with you there's somebody there weekends holidays every day of the week somebody's there it takes about an hour to get a really good tour and uh, I think you'd be amazed uh, how we uh, treat that wastewater all biologically there's no filterization or anything like that you just take uh, good bugs and you treat them well and they work <laughs> hard for you and they destroy all the bad stuff and uh, 
like I say, I heard a couple of you haven't had a chance yet to come down, but uh, by all means, try to make a tour down and, and uh, see what we're all about there. And um, just one other thing is the Coast Guard project is going along uh, pretty well. Um, uh, forget, I forget uh, the classifications of cadet, but she, she's a senior and she's, uh, she got her dream um, assignment out in Kittery, Maine. She came from San Diego, California. She wanted to go where it was a little bit colder because <laughs> they have, believe it or not, so, um, but the mayor and myself are going May sure. 4th to see the presentations yep. out at the uh, Coast Guard Academy. So I know Ron's been with me the previous years and uh, generally I look for somebody that's never had a tour of the Academy and would like to go and maybe one of you guys could go next year or something, you know. So uh, I invited multiple, multiple people on multiple years and occasions. It's really a treat to go out there and see these cadets do a presentation and get an inside view of what goes on in their engineering department, the wave pools and all that stuff. So if anybody's interested, maybe next year we'll get to get you out there. But uh, other than that, it's really been an honor to work with you guys. And you know we're in the middle of the switching over and stuff. So uh, you know you guys have always been great to us and appreciate all the good comments. and through the good times and the unfortunate times and everything in between. It's, it's been a pleasure working with you guys. I think he's alluding to when you read, you finally approve the conversion of the WPC. Yeah. That's what he's alluding to. But you know where we are. Anytime mm -hmm. you want to come down for a tour or any questions, you know, uh, you know where we're at. Okay. Anything else on that? All right, old business. You want to? There's a WPCA 18 04 01 consideration of an action to authorize management to issue a purchase order for the installation of rooftop safety railings used for fall protection on the roof to the digester and thickener buildings at the City of Grand Pollution Abatement Facility to Hart Engineering Corporation, 800 Scenic View Drive, Cumberland, Rhode Island based on the quoted amount plus contingency not to exceed $25,000 and zero cents to be paid from funds in the FY 2018 capital reserve account. And furthermore, that the city council be apprised of this action with the recommendation that they concur. So do I need? You need a motion and a second. A motion to move to, to the next move council it. meeting. Oh, well, I, I, it's, it's not on. Is it on it's, tonight? This is not on for tonight. No. It's going to be on in the 16th. Yeah, two weeks. Okay, so it'll be on. So we'll need a motion to move it to the mayor and council meeting of April 16th. I just did. Okay. Second. And we have a motion and a second. Uh, hearing that, any further discussion? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 What's uh, that next word? Shoot. What's next? Abstentions? Okay. Opposite? Opposed? Abstentions. Okay. Motion carries unanimously. <laughs> wow, I think I just had a stroke. I don't know what just <laughs> happened there. That's weird. Okay. Anything for new business? I do strongly recommend that if you have not had a tour, and even if you have had a tour and hasn't been for a couple years, to go down there and see the facility, it is amazing what they are able to do and and, and what happens at this facility. It's pretty impressive. So, hey, with that, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. Hey, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, we're adjourned. <laughs>